multiply the following rational expressions. A. 40x to the third over 6y times 15y to the second over 5x to the fifth. So the first thing we can do is rewrite this expression as a single fraction and multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Now 40x to the third, I'm going to write that 40x to the third in a factored form. 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. x to the third is x times x times x. Similarly, 15y to the second is 3 times 5 times y times y. In the denominator, and in the denominator we have 6y, which is the same as 2 times 3 times y times 5x to the fifth, which is the same as 5, times x times x times x times x times x. So now we have the single fraction written, and the numerator and denominator are written just as multiplications, so just in, as factors. We're allowed to remove any common factors between the numerator and denominator. So I see a common factor of 2, I can remove it. I see three common factors of x. I can remove them. I see a common factor of 3. I can remove it. I see a common factor of 5. I can remove it. And I see a common factor of y. I can remove it. And that's all I can remove. So now simplifying this, I would have 2 times 2 times 5 times y in the numerator. So that's 20y in the numerator. And in the denominator, I have x times x, or x squared. Exercise b. a plus 5 over a minus 2 times a minus 3 over a plus 4. So remember, we would have to multiply that entire a plus 5 by the a minus 3 and similarly in the denominator. So I'd have a plus 5 times a minus 3. In the denominator I have a minus 2 times a plus 4. There are no common factors, so I cannot remove any factors, and it is common practice to leave the expression written in this factored form. So we would stop right there.